You need a mic? Yeah. This Don needs a mic too. Yeah. Yeah. Turn to record this. <laughs> it's my first time to stand here. <laughs> and I'm standing here and I'm really happy. Yeah. I did not imagine in my life that one day I would stand like in this pulpit of this church with different kinds of people. Mm. I know this is a plan of God. Mm. Pastor and Pastor uh, asked me to speak today. Ushuda ni nyingi lakini haiwezi tolea yote nitapita juu juu. And there are so many things to say but I'll just say something small. Eh nilifika hapa tarehe 30 mwezi wa 10. I arrived in the United States. Nilishuka hapa na nota kwa hii tarehe October 10th, that's when I, I arrived in Toronto. And, and from that day, I considered myself as part of this community. But coming out of Congo, I came uh, in 2003. Uh, uh, July 1st. July 1st. <laughs> <laughs> I just help me from time to time. Nico, I'm saying, yeah, I'm saying, i saying, i saying, out of Congo, it was in a very difficult situation. Mm. It was just by grace of God that we got out of the country. Because people separates Congo and Uganda, 
um, like the, the people there uh, at the river refused us to cross on the other side. And I remember it was the, it was the uh, Independence Day of Congo, and when I reached the river, I, I, I asked God to uh, help me cross the, the river because he has kept me alive for four years running around. Mm. So just me crossing the other side, I know God, this is not going to be difficult for you. Please God, help me cross on the other side. Na pale tutuafiki ya kwa boda na ika, ilikuwa oda ni kapata wakati tulishuka kwa boda ati hakuna na mwona ya kufika Uganda na tena pale pale nilikuwa na mmoja jamaa nika ninawezi itayetata haka nikaribisha kwa nyumba yake haka patia mimi chai nika kaa pale nae nika kuta wangine walipita na pombe yao kumukono wakasimama wanasema kwa siri yao wanasema na hawa kuniwana juu nilikuwa pembeni ya nyumba so reaching uh, to the border at the river, uh, someone welcomed me and uh, she's like a sister to me and she offered me tea. While I'm taking tea in her house, I heard people outside talking and they're saying that if we can just get like two or three people that will pay us money, we'll be able to help them cross on the other, on the other side. And that's when I, I got out of the house and went and talked to them because I wanted to go on the other side. Ndiyo hii siku ndiyo nikafika, kesho yake nikatoka salafu, tare salasini siku ya tepadas, na kesho yake mara mwona nikapata njia, nikaigia Uganda, na nikasema kweli kuhu hii safari, inatipaliwa na mungu. And, and the next day, uh, we crossed uh, the river, and I thank God, and I realized that that uh, journey of us was uh, pleasing to God. Na pale ndiyo tukaanza tafutia fasi ya kuhishi, so after crossing uh, the river, we stayed on the other side in Uganda for two years outside the camp. And after the two years, uh, we, we, we were able to go into the camp with the XCR. Mm. So when we were taken like into the camp, the refugee camp, it, it's, it's not really a refugee camp, it's just a bush mm. full of thorns. So you, you don't have a, a house, you don't have a place. We, we wish to go back to our houses because it was very difficult to live. <laughs> So when we had new faces, the people that we don't know, we don't recognize, and uh, the uh, UNCR gave us tents, but we just put the tent uh, on the ground and we go underneath it because uh, there was uh, 
too much wind, it, it will blow the tent if you're not careful. So we started feeling like going back home and if they will kill us, just they will kill us. <laughs> So among the people that we were with, some of them like died with sicknesses, you know, just the, the way that we were living was really difficult for people to survive. <coughs> but if we are still alive, it's just by the grace of God. Mm. So, um, we were obliged just to cope up with that life. So, we started looking, you know, for ways to survive. We, we started digging, you know, around and just by the grace of God, we we connected with the people that we found in that refugee camp, and they chose me to be their leader. Like from 2005 till the time that we left, I was their leader. Mm. And even when uh, I came this side, they, they were happy, but they missed me, and I know that uh, their turn will, will come, and that's how we are here. So, uh, like, when, when we were prepared to come to the United States, um, they told us we were going to Richmond. But when we, we reached uh, Washington, D.C., they told us that we were, we were coming to, to Roanoke. So we didn't know what was going on. They are changing things just, just on the way, and it was frustrating to us. So when, when we reached here, it was really frustrating. We talked too much. And I'm asking God like, to forgive me for all the things that we say that are not right. <laughs> <laughs> <So>. <laughs> It just felt like the first time when we got in the refugee camp. It's the same way that we complained when we got here. After a very short period of time, we started seeing people coming to us, you know, welcome, welcoming us, loving us, bringing all these things. Then we understood, oh, this is the place that the Lord chose for us. <laughs> So we are complaining because we have our own expectation in, in, in our minds. We want things to be the way that we want them to be. Yet God has a different plan, which is better for us. So 
I'm really thankful to God. I didn't say it something. That's my wife. All his wife. Nikatoka na mtoto, nilikuwa wawili. Sasa Uganda tu ya upeke nikachukua wewe. Sasa hii ndio watoto tulipata naye. When I came, I was only with my son. When I went to Uganda and I was by myself, I was alone, you know. And then I saw her and we started we we, we got married and this is my wife now and our children. Oh. So we got married legally, she's my wife, the government knows, everyone knows that she's my wife. <laughs> 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 So, so I would like to thank God um, for my son and my wife. Like sometimes when uh, a son comes and find another mother in the house, there is always problem. And sometimes mothers don't accept children that come in the family. But for them, they live in harmony since 2005, mm -hmm. and I'm really grateful to God. Yeah, so that's why I'm thanking God, because my wife accepts my child that she found me with. And also, I would like to thank Kevin. And, and doctor, that means John, gentlemen. And also, Fiston, for connecting us. And he always like talk to us if there is anything. I thank the whole church. We, we got like cloth at home. You show us love. Every time we come here, we see smiles on the face of the people. And sometimes, sometimes if you come to someone and they have a gloomy face, it's, it's, it scares you, but it's not the case here. Every time you guys smile, and I would like to thank you so much. Please continue praying for us. I, I don't speak English, I don't have a job yet. I have children. Sometimes that can be difficult, but please pray for us so that things can get better. So sometimes we feel like we are a burden to you. You come and, and bring us with your car. We don't know how much you pay the gas. But please, don't, don't get tired of us. <laughs> So I'm so thankful. Mm. There's one thing that I've seen like in life. In my culture, if you have to thank God for something, you need to come with something. But unfortunately, me, me, I don't have anything. Hmm. And we're going to read one verse and I'll, I'll finish with that. So, uh, it's going to be... 
In everything, I showed you that by working hard in this manner, you must help the weak and remember the words of the Lord Jesus that He Himself said, It's more blessed to give than to receive. Amen. 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 God bless the work of everyone. Do ni miki miki wenye wanatendia apa wakati tunakucha sahi tunasikia kama tuko mbani siwezi tanja moja moja lakini mina jua wenye wanafanya mungu tuya saidia pariki wale wenye wanafanya. Because you do so much, so much, so much and I cannot be able like to name everyone but God bless you for what you do. That's it. Thank you. Amen. That was about the first time I went to Congo, actually, as he was leaving. And um, in that civil war, there were six million people killed. Mm -hmm. More in that war than any war, uh, anywhere in the world, since World War II. Mm -hmm. And I think in, this, in America, I'm not sure we even heard about it in the press here. I can't remember. But this, this notion that this baby comes with the institution of a new kingdom, um, where um, that's not the case, is Let me pray, and we're ready to sing a few Christmas carols. Father, we're